ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, we'll go ahead and, and call our meeting to order. It's good to see everyone this afternoon on Monday, November the 19th. This is our council meeting uh, for which we will be voting on items that we've discussed at our workshop at the beginning of the month. So we're, uh, we're glad to see everyone. We do have uh, agendas that are back here by Mr. Dunstan. If anyone would like to grab one of those and follow along, you're certainly welcome to it. Thank you, Vanna. That was a good job. You did, did good. Um, at this point in time, I would like to call, we have a special guest tonight, Reverend James McKenzie with Allen Temple AME Church. And Reverend McKenzie, I can see you around the, around the uh, column there. If you'd like to come forward, we'd like to uh, turn the microphone over to you to open our meeting in prayer, please. Yes, ma'am. Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you for yet another beautiful day and another opportunity to serve and worship you. Lord God, we thank you for Mayor Smith and the entire city council and workers of the great city of Tifton. Lord God, it is our prayer that you just continue to shower your blessings upon them. And may your Holy Spirit, God, just continue to lead and guide and direct them in their leadership of this great place we call home, Tifton, Georgia. In your son's holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend McKenzie. Thank you very much. Isn't it great that we live in a place where we can open a government meeting with prayer? I'm very appreciative of that. Um, gentlemen, you have your agenda before you. Those were emailed out to us. Uh, the next item on our agenda is the approval, unless you have any changes. You the pledge. Say the pledge. Well, my goodness. Yeah, we also live in a great country that does the pledge. We do. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Everyone stand, please. <laughs> Let's offer the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for pointing that out. I don't know where my mind was. All right, now we will take uh, an approval of the agenda. I recommend a, a motion for that unless there's a recommendation for any changes in, in order or the items on the agenda. So moved. All right. Second. All right. Motion second. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All right. And I'd like to go ahead and point out um, Councilman Terrell is going to be a few minutes late this evening, and we do have Councilman Sales, who is on the speakerphone. He has called in to be with us tonight. He is out of town. So, uh, so Frank, can you hear us okay? Everything good? Yeah, sure can. Okay. Good deal. Uh, the next item on our agenda is approval of, of the last two meetings that we've had, October the 15th council meeting and the November 5th workshop, and those were emailed to us. So at this point, I will take a motion to either make any changes or to accept those minutes that are presented. I move to accept as written. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay. Uh, that motion passes. Thank you, Jack. Uh, the next item is, is uh, something that we always enjoy, and that's when we have presentations. And I'd like to call on Tasha Patrick and Candace Amos, who are going to be making a presentation on the GMA Wellness Grant Check. So, ladies, I'll turn it over to you. Are there committees, if you want to introduce the committee? Yeah. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, before we start with the check presentation, I would like to introduce to you our city wellness committee. I'm Natasha Patrick, site manager for the Leroy Rogers Senior Center, um, and I'm happy to take on the new role as our city's wellness coordinator. I have with me uh, Mr. Kiefer Daltrey. He's with the fire department. Ms. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Ms. Morgan Atwater, she's the public relations um, manager for the city of Tifton. And we have Ms. Emily Beeman, she's our new HR director. Um, we've all, we all came, started on board in August. Um, besides Ms. Emily, she came with us on last week. She joined us on last week and we're happy to have you by the way. She said we dragged her in. <laughs> Just to name a few of the things that we've done so far. Um, we've done uh, physical activities, several lunch and learns, and health screenings. Some of the physical activities were our exercise classes, our ready, set walks, and our volleyball games that were done at the uh, fire station. A few of the lunch and learn topics were the when to go to the ER versus the convenient care, 
managing stress management in the workplace, and mental health awareness. A few of our health screenings are the flu shot clinics and biometric screenings. Also, we utilize our Blue Cross Blue Shield Health Link for employee education with topics such as diabetes awareness and breast cancer awareness. Our main goal is getting to know all of our city employees on a more personal level, level so that we can determine their health and wellness needs and hopefully come up with 2019 as a wellness, I'm sorry, 2019 as a year full of wellness. Um, we are honored to receive this grant and now I turn it over to Ms. Candace. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You have a wonderful wellness committee. They've been great in helping your wellness program go forward. I would like to say that, you know, your employees, they are your greatest asset. They are the ones who run the day-to-day -day operations of your organization. So you want to make sure that they are at their healthiest. You know, sometimes we take our health for granted. And if we aren't well, how can we do the job that we love? How can we be there for our family and friends? So I would like to commend the city of Tifton for being in your employee's corner, for being there for them, looking out for them. And I want to present to you, on behalf of Georgia Municipal Association, <laughs> the health promotion and well-being grant in the amount of $5,000. That is wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Get a picture Why don't we have all of the down. council okay. come down and um, <coughs> Garfield, you are just, I've known you forever. It's amazing how they've gotten older and we haven't, though. Isn't that awesome how that's worked? It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. But Dolores, we're so glad to have you with us tonight and your sweet Raven. Raven, it's good to see you. We're glad you're here. But we are so honored to be able to uh, just do something for you. It's just a small, very small token of our appreciation to your years of service for the city of Tifton. So, Steve, I'll turn it over. Thank you. Uh, Mayor, Council, um, Tonight, we're going to give Lieutenant Rainey his shadow box. Uh, I didn't prepare a speech, you know. So, and uh, uh, Chief Dowdy is out sick. He's running the fever, uh, thinks he's got the flu. But uh, Garfield has been with us for over 30 years. And once again, he's had my back because he's already written a speech for me that I could probably give is because the thing about it is, is he's been dedicated, he's been loyal, he's been committed, he's been involved in the community in every aspect he could. Uh, he's done just about everything that has been asked for him and a lot of things that wasn't required of him. He has went 
above and beyond on just about everything that he's touched as a law enforcement officer and in his personal life. He's been with me for the last 30 years, Drennan. He's been in several more back here for years, and he's always been right there with us. You can always depend on G. And uh, we picked at him about several different things. I'm not going to bring all that up. But <laughs> the thing about it is, is the things that he's already wrote his speech on has been his commitment to Tifton Police Department, the city of Tifton, his loyalty, his dedication, and his community service, and the way he served our community. And we appreciate it. Garfield, you come up. Uh, thank you very much. This is really, really nice. Uh, wow. Um, I'd like to thank the mayor and council in the city of Tifton. Uh, 30 years is a long time. Um, I've learned a lot and still learning. Um, but I think I left it in good hands. Uh, you guys back there. <laughs> uh, congratulations on your promotions. Uh, Lieutenant and Sergeant. Um, like I said, I want to thank everybody. Uh, the new city manager, Mr. Pazinski. Did I say that right? All right. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard. Um, but I, again, I want to thank everybody. It's been a long time. Uh, I'm now retired. I can spend a lot of time with the family now. Uh, this is my right hand lady right here, the Ray Ray. I get the be home when she come home from school and help her with her homework and help her read a book every day. She has to read a book every day, right? <laughs> but again, I'd like to thank everybody uh, for coming out. I really appreciate it. Um, what the future holds, I don't know yet, but I know the rest of the year I'm just going to rest and take care of some projects around the house. We got a lot of things I need to do around the house. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She, she gets on me every day about what she needs done. So I'm, I'm going to try to get that done. Um, yes, sir. Can I tag on that? When we were all prison tomorrow, and you and Stevie were there. <laughs> yeah. And we should have been there with the parents and said, we don't have to worry about our children. Mark this out. <laughs> we don't have to worry about our parents, Stevie, because our kids, Stevie's out. And we, we kept an eye on them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I did my best. Didn't may always make everybody happy, but <laughs> I did my best. Thank you. Um, I'd just like to add, we're just so proud of you, Garfield, and, and you are part of a family that loves you and respects you and appreciates you, and we're going to miss you very, very much. So please don't be a stranger. Please, please don't. We're just, we're just so thankful for your family and, and all that you do. The other day I had the opportunity, children at JT Reddick, and they wanted to see one of the police officers. So I called and spoke to the chief, and the next thing I know, here comes Garfield. Well, that was the end. They were all about him coming in. They were just thrilled, and he did such a good job with those kids. So just to, to tag on what you were saying, you have a, a very special talent for that because not everybody can relate to those kids that way but they just they think you were the bomb and, and we do too and we're just so thankful for your years of service and thank you for sharing him with us all these years and I know you're glad to have him home in the afternoons aren't you okay okay well thank you Garfield thank you so much we're so proud of you.
thank y'all. Thank y'all for being here. I think that that says a lot for y'all to be here to uh, to be a part of this. Thanks, guys. Y'all be careful. Okay, we will carry on with our agenda. The next item is public comments. Jessica, did we have anybody that wanted to make any? Oh, okay, not okay. All right. Um, next on our agenda is our consent agenda, and there are five items that we have discussed in the uh, workshop, so they're not, it's not new information. If we, you'd like, we can take these all together with one motion, or if you want to separate them out, if there's any discussion or questions we have about any of the items on the consent agenda, we can take them individually. Six. I don't know what is wrong with my. But I make the motion. I'm going to approve all six. Six, not seven. Did I say five or six? Yeah. Okay. So I make the motion. We approve all six. I can't add. Okay. All right. So, so you made the motion. Motion. Okay. Approve all six. Uh, I second that motion. Okay. All right. So we have a motion and a second to approve all six items on the consent agenda. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, not opposed. All right. Um, under new business, we have a resolution. Pete, do you want to talk about the uh, resolution? Is there anything we need to go over on that, or has that already been discussed? Uh, Mayor Costello, you know, we've been under discussions concerning the purchase of uh, 5.751 acres, uh, also known as half of Captain's Point Trailer Park. Uh, this purchase is being made for the idea of urban redevelopment. Uh, we have prepared the agreement for purchase and sale. Again, it's uh, about 5.751 acres. We're looking towards a closing date of April the 1st. Okay. Uh, we are now in the, uh, once this is executed, we'll have a 30 day due diligence period. Uh, the property the title has been reviewed. Uh, there's also a uh, environmental study that's actually being performed as we speak. Uh, so it looks like everything is in order and we should be able to move forward and close this property on April 1st. Okay. Any questions, comments from any of the council concerning this project? Okay. I, for one, am very excited. This is something we've been working on for a long time. Uh, the entire Mount Wilson redevelopment area um, is something we've been talking about. And um, Bless you. This, this was <laughs> <that's> kind of odd. <laughs> um, Securing this property is going to be a huge first step, and um, we have Pete and Jessica and uh, Lucretia, and I had the opportunity to meet with uh, with some folks from the neighborhood a couple of weeks ago and, and had a very good discussion. We had um, a representative from the regional commission there. We had represented, representation from the housing authority, um, and the, the reception of this project is just, it's really exciting. You can really... Um, you can begin to see the, the synergy that's building, and, uh, and I've received several calls from some folks, and as conversations happen over the course of the next months, I'll share those with everybody from, from various business people who want to get involved. So it's really exciting, and I think it's, it's going to um, really change Tifton for the better, and, uh, and so I'm excited about that. So that being said, we do need a, um, a motion to approve the resolution to move forward. And no, I mean, this, I, I, we reviewed this contract, of course, in the executive session. It's necessary to, for us to vote on this in, in a public meeting. Right. Uh, but uh, so the record's clear. Again, it's 5.751 acres. This is uh, half of the Captain's Point Trailer Park. Uh, the purchase price is $273,585.26 and is being purchased from Captain's Point LLC. Okay. okay. And I will tell you that uh, the money for closing will come out of reserves at the front, uh, but then we'll, uh, SPLOS money will be returning that because we did put right. property acquisition in the Exactly. Spot. Okay. Thank you for yeah, that clarification. To, to add on what you said, we, we cleared by doing this. We are here to serve all of Tifton. Exactly. Thank you. part of Tifton. We're committed to all of Tifton and areas that need help regardless of where they are. Exactly. Well said. Thank With you. With that, I'll make a motion to approve the purchase. Okay. Is there a second? I'll be more than happy to second that motion. All right, thank you. So we have motion second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay, motion passes. All right, excellent. Um, Councilman Terrell was supposed to be here by now. Um, 
Did he say how late he was going to be? Or okay. Yeah, he didn't when we talked. Can we recess? Can we recess and call him? And I could do mine first. Yeah, why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and swap around, let you go ahead and do your manager's report, because I know Johnny wanted to be here for the board presentation. Sure. So, okay. yeah, if you All could right, do good. that, that'd be great. Thank good. you. Good. First, first thing I wanted to do is uh, uh, introduce you formally to Emily Beamer. <laughs> Emily, if you want to come on up to the podium, please. <laughs> Put you on the spot. <laughs> uh, as you know, we went through uh, interviews, um, and we had some great talent. Uh, Emily uh, has worked in... Tifton for last couple, four years actually at the hospital. So uh, with her qualifications and her educational background, she was most qualified and I think she's gonna be the best fit for our team. And she has started and almost into her full week already. Uh, she's been around to all the departments, meeting everybody and then getting uh, obviously busy with serving our employees uh, in the HR role. But we're excited to have her and, and uh, we just, uh, we're looking forward to, to get started with that. So. Very good, thank you. Thank you, Emily. We're looking forward to working with you. I'm glad to have you on board. Thank you. Um, the second thing I, I wanted to share with you, the police department just finished uh, their, national, their accreditation for promotions. Uh, this is a very uh, long-standing process with testing, oral interviews, and actually people come from outside the agency to do all this assessment. Um, and the uh, chief, uh, we had uh, six, I believe, that went through the assessment. We've had a couple positions that were vacant, a sergeant position and a lieutenant in CID. And the, the two that obviously came on top, scored the highest and did the greatest on, on their assessment, Jacob Teeter uh, was promoted to sergeant. Uh, he is the detective and then Daniel Ray was promoted to lieutenant in CID. So uh, congratulations to both of them. Uh, Daniel, man, look excited. It's well, a great time for you. <laughs> you woke him up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will say this. Uh, it's an honor I grew up here. I never would have thought, and uh, a lot of people that know me would have thought that I've been working for the police department. Uh, but it is, it is an honor to work here and be able to put back in the community that you grew up in. So That's thank nice. Thank you all for that honor. Thank you. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you yes, congratulations. Right. We're, we're really excited to have him and Jacob. They both do a great job. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's that... Uh, achievement mm -hmm. that these guys uh, and, and gals are seeking uh, in the promotional process, and when you do it through assessments like that, it's really mistakenly, and, and they are the they are the best of the best. Excellent. Uh, so we're, we're excited to 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 move on with that. And then thirdly, uh, we are all wrapped up with yard trash. We are back. Uh, talk to Richard. We are back into uh, regular motion now with with yard trash collection. ESG is finishing up some odds and ends and alleyways, but. I wanted to give you a report on total uh, deposit into the inner uh, site for this storm. So residents, residents themselves, um, brought in 362 tons. Wow. So and we didn't charge, mm -hmm. so they brought to the inner landfill 362. That's a lot of material. Wow. Golden uh, ended up bringing 411 tons into the inner site. And then ESG and DOT brought in 1,553 tons. Wow. So total of 2,326 tons of yard debris. Just to put this in perspective, that's 4.6 million pounds of debris from Hurricane Michael. That's unbelievable. So a lot of work, and again, I just I can't thank them enough, uh, Richard Golden, and hanging hanging that hanging in there with us and taking this area, and then Scotty and Jeff and the whole ESG team for what they did. But that is a lot of debris, uh, and obviously we'll be submitting that. Well, we'd uh, like to also offer our thanks to DOT, Absolutely. to ESG, to Golden, to, to, and to our citizens for being patient uh, through this process. So thank you very much for, for this. And the bottom line is, again, Ricky Hobby really just, he earns, he earns another gold star for yeah. handling and managing all this debris. We, we have literally have a grinder going day and night trying to grind this material up. So, you know, we're concluded. Uh, we have the stats to back it up, and hopefully we get reimbursed like the last time in an in efficient manner. So that's, that's all I have to report. Okay. Good. All good. right. All right. Very good. Uh, again, thank you, gentlemen, for, for all that hard work, because I know that was, that was a lot. That was above and beyond the call of duty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and move forward with the report. Uh, Johnny was going to be here, um, and we have been working on filling the vacancies with our housing authority. 
Um, we had three spots that were open with, with that particular board. Um, since since Councilman Terrell is not here to do the, uh, I cannot make a motion. Um, Jack, if you you or Wes or Frank, I'm, I don't know if you've got the, the list there in front of you, but if one of you could make the motion, I can certainly second uh, for these appointments for the Housing Authority. Um, I will say that the Housing Authority has been um, very good to work with. We've asked them to, uh, to do some things regarding attention to some of the properties. Um, they've been at the table every time we've had a, a meeting about the um, Matt Wilson redevelopment area and they've been very receptive. Uh, not too long ago, we took a tour of all the properties and met with the board. So I want to thank them and their director, Chandra Park, for their efforts and their work uh, on making sure that we have safe, affordable housing for many of our citizens. So, uh, so that being said, um, let's take the housing authority first uh, with those applicants that have submitted their names. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion that we appoint Mr. Hill, Ms. Joan Howard, and Mr. Dennis Whitehead. Mr. Whitehead would be the Housing Authority resident. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and I will second that motion um, that Jack has made. I appreciate that, Jack. Is there any further discussion concerning these appointments? All right, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, that carries. Uh, we do still have vacancies on the Tipton Zoning Board of Appeals and the Historic Preservation Commission. Um, we do have applicants that have submitted their, um, their name to be considered. Um, Jessica, I don't know that one of these is, um, Miss Bell, is, is that a city resident? Is that a city address? I believe she's in the county. Okay. Um, the one I did want to mention, I just got it today, was the Chase. Chase um, Nicholson. Nicholson. And okay. he actually lives in the historic He's in, in the historic district. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you'd like. Yeah, I, uh, Mayor, I would rather wait uh, till next month to talk about the HPC. Okay, that's fine. Uh, does anybody have any issue with that? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Frank suggested we wait till next month to talk about the Historic sure. Preservation Commission, and that, that's, that's certainly fine. Sure. Um, and then we also about Tipton Zoning Board of Appeals. Would you just pick those those up all next month? That's fine. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. All right. Um, that's all we have on the agenda, with the exception of mayor and council comments. So, uh, Frank, let's wait for the train to go by, <laughs> and then I'll let you go okay. first if you don't mind. If you have any comments or concerns that you have for the group. Is that a train going by? That's a train. Wait just one second. Yeah, I, I just, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead, that's good. Yeah, I, I just wanna say that uh, Pete and I have been looking at some concerns in the historic district, and uh, some of them are part of our ongoing review of, of code enforcement issues that we've had. So we are looking at that, and, and also we've been talking you know, for a while about um, some new signage and lighting in the district, so uh, those are being addressed. Excellent, very good. So we hope to have some information that we can share yeah, with everyone. Yeah, we will. And um, Frank and I have talked. I think you know by um, second week in December we should have kind of a, uh, a shell plan uh, what Wonderful. we're doing and with some dates at least for for programming purposes what we're going to start with. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. All right. Yeah, thank absolutely. You. Okay. Thank you, Frank. Um, Wes. Uh, off the top of my head, I want to sort of important to me. You see tonight that we uh, promoted with, from within mm -hmm. uh, these police officers. We have a lot of avail uh, available officer positions uh, still remaining out there, uh, SROs for schools. Uh, so if anyone knows of anyone who would be interested in those positions, please contact our HR so we can, uh, we can get the ball rolling on that because uh, obviously uh, you know, we need some help. Exactly. Great. Great comment. I will mention that Emily, one of her really strong points at the hospital, she helped recruit oh, okay. for positions. Uh, so we've talked about that all, already and looking at what we're, what we're doing, um, how we're doing it, and helping Captain Hyman and, and the chief uh, draw uh, potential officers in. So we're, we're working steadily on that, and uh, we'll, we're going to keep on it until we're successful. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for that, Wes. Mm -hmm. Jack? Um, And I don't even know if it was an issue, but I like somebody like Pete to, I just happened to be sitting there looking out the window today, and they get the neighbor's trash can, and they, they pick up the garbage. And if 
probably 10 minutes later, here comes, it could have been the same truck, I don't know, I wouldn't watch him. Come around, I almost identical truck, you know, and, and they pick up the recycle. It was a little bit, it, it was a little bit odd. You know, maybe they follow each other. It didn't happen in my house that way, but I'd like you to, you know, if we get calls to say they're putting them all together again, within 10 minutes, they come to the same house with a truck that, it wasn't that split truck, it was that, let's put it all in there. And so, you know, it's one of these enough is enough, if that kind of thing is going on, that's, you know, that's broken the contract and I'm tired of it. I've been a supporter, but that's what's happening. It's, it's time to just crack down on that. So if we get called, I, I just saw it, I just couldn't guarantee it wasn't the same truck. Okay, all right, thank you for that. Um, in closing, my comments are just, uh, you know, here we are in the Thanksgiving season and um, I just want to say how very thankful I am for this community. I had the opportunity to speak recently with the Merchants Association at their annual breakfast. And, um, and just seeing all those folks who have made a commitment to this town by putting their business in Tifton and, and their passion for what they do just really makes me proud to serve and, and to be involved. Um, when we have events like uh, the retirement of, of Garfield Rainey, who's been with our city for so very long, you're happy on one aspect because you wish him well and you want him to go and enjoy these retirement years that he's worked so hard for. But on the other hand, you're a little sad because you become friends with, with these folks and, and, uh, and they mean something to you. So um, just as we, as we approach Thanksgiving this week, I just want to say I'm thankful for each of you and the work that you do. Pete, I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful that you're our city manager. You, you really make Tifton proud. Um, Jessica, I mean, if, uh, Morgan, if I start going around naming names, I'll, I'll leave someone out. But I'm just, I'm just so thankful that we are in Tifton. You know, there are a lot of communities that struggle. Um, there are a lot of communities that have poor economies or they have such challenges or there are, you know, terrible things that happen in the community. And, and we've just been so blessed and so fortunate. And, um, and for that, I'm just really thankful. So that is uh, that's my, my closing statement. So unless there's anything else, we do not have to have executive session tonight, do we not? Is that correct? Okay, yay. I'm thankful for that too. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that. anyway, so unless there's any further business to come before us, we will be adjourned and have a good evening. Thank you. Thanks. I've been this